Thank you so much. You know, it's interesting because I have found that you have to send out multiple messages in order to get yourself out there and get yourself known on the social media circles. And I know that in some cases, people started talking about, in particular with Twitter, that they didn't want to blend their personal and their professional lives. And years ago, people would go out on Twitter and say, I ate oatmeal for breakfast, and they're like, who cares? You know, why do I need to be out on Twitter if that happens? But if you think about it in real life, when we talk with people and we engage with them, we don't talk about just one thing. When I go into a client's office, I don't just talk about work. You know, they might say, hey, did you see the game over the weekend? Or what happened over here? Or um, have you tried a new hamburger spot? Or whatever the case may be. So our lives are very blended that way. And that's what makes social media that opportunity for people to see all the different facets of us. And you can use that to your advantage. I mean, I admit, there are days when I'll send out the latest um, employment statistics and nobody will respond, but if I send a picture of bacon, you know, <laughs> I'll have 20 people wanting to know where that bacon came from in great detail. But getting that engagement and getting that conversation started then allows you to do other things and meet people in real life. Because ultimately when you're out and about, then you can connect with them and you can put the face with the Facebook entry or the conversation you have with that person on LinkedIn and that's how you can get the dialogue started.